Hello, <laughs> from Whistler, live from Whistler. We are in Whistler because we are on a voyage to uh, record a little history from Birkin. And that history is that we have not been back to the old Shack Monastery for 23 years. Mount Curry, and we just go right through towards Darcy. What's up? I'm gonna lock it, the oh. house. And a week ago, it suddenly occurred to me that we should take some video cameras and go on a little journey to explore the history and record it. So Metson, do you have all the gear you need to film this? I think so, and I bet you will get no usable footage. Where are we going, Ajahn? We're going to the shack. Back to the shack. Okay. Going to my little grass shack in Kalaloo, <laughs> Because I have told various stories about the place, but um, people don't know anything about it. So we, we decided, I asked anybody want to go, and turns out everybody wanted to go. So there's nine of us. <laughs> and uh, then we d realized, oh, it's a long ways to go and we're gonna have to stay overnight someplace so we had to find a place and it turned out the only reasonable places were in whistler about an hour south of the shack monastery and so here we are in a place called this <laughs> swiss chalet <laughs> so we have this whole place to ourselves this lovely place and it happens to have high speed internet and one of the things we, that we don't have at the monastery is high-speed internet. We have satellite internet. So most of our things have to be well produced ahead of time and then uploaded. Sometimes it takes us 16 hours to upload a single video to YouTube. But here with high-speed internet, we can do a live streaming uh, interactive broadcast. And uh, so this is what we thought we would uh, do this where this is our last night here and we just actually returned from the uh, quest to record the old uh, monastery and it was quite quite uh, amazing to me because it is just as I remembered it and it these dilapidated shacks which we called the shack monastery are still standing yeah there's which one of the shacks did you live in? This kid Alan lived in there. And that was like a tool shed we turned into a little place for. But this is, they built some houses in there, so this is not private property, so we, yeah. we're gonna, we'll probably come in from the other end there. And, but barely standing. They are really, truly derelict shacks. There's the old shack. That's the first place where I was a hermit, lay hermit. Somebody has bought the property and uh, built a nice house there, but they haven't destroyed the old shacks. I guess they have a historical sense there. There's the shack monastery. That's the one. That's it. That's the shack. There's no door left open. There's still a bit of a blue tarp on top. If we put on there to keep the rain out, that was, that's been there for 26 years, that tarp. Amazing. Kind of skylight? Yeah, there was a skylight. It used to be covered by the blue tarp, so you get a blue, blue light through there. But we, aside from taking a few uh, snapshots and videos of the shacks, we, we also explored the Birkenhead River, which is truly uh, a, one of the eighth wonder, eight, eight wonders of the world. Is a spot where the fairies got together last night. Come have a look. Ooh. They were all over this log and they had a major party and they ate too much angel food cake and they drank mm. too much champagne and this morning they were all very very ill mm. and what we have right here is the fairy upchuck lichen. Mm. That's what it's called. It's a glacial fed river which comes off the Birkenhead Lake 
and we walked up it and there's not a soul there not there's been no development whatsoever in the last i i went there 35 years ago first as a lay hermit was there for almost three years as a lay hermit from about 1985 to 1988 and nothing has changed there's still it's still remote there's still uh nobody uh, on the river. Everybody has their phone. <laughs> and so we, we walked in. It was just absolutely staggeringly beautiful. And we, we did a number of videos and f photographs and everything of it. So we really captured that before it disappears. So that was our main uh, mission. Personally, as uh, a monk who likes the quiet of the countryside, and uh, I, I don't mind at all to be in, in uh, remote areas for, uh, for an extended period of time. And uh, my, I have uh, a few monastics with me. I have Jyoti Palo and Tan Sid and Sister Mon, and we have six stewards as well. And uh, so we'll all be harmoniously in, in uh, retreat through the winter. But this is a little, uh, a little expedition, and that's kind of a monk's holiday. Perhaps you wonder how monks have holidays. Well, we go roaming around, but there's very little that a monk can do. It's not like you can go play tennis or something like that, or go to a nightclub. No, no, we can't do that. So we kind of journey around and take walks in the in a different forest. <laughs> Maybe go to a garden.